Hey everyone, so welcome to today's lesson, how to find the volume of rectangular prisms. Most of you should know this formula already. The volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. It's super easy. Let's say I give you this shape. Yeah, this is a rectangular prism. Think of a loaf of bread. Okay, so this right here, let's say it's four. Let's say that this is five. Let's say that this is eight. Okay, my length four, my width five, my height eight. Four times five is going to be 20. If I do 20 times eight, it's going to be 16 and then a zero, 160. Boom. I found it. All I did was I did four times five times eight. That's it. Length times width times height. Let's do some more. Let's say you get, instead of 4 times 5 times 8, let's say I give you 3 times 2 times 6. That's it. 3 times 2 times 6. You can do this in your head. 3 times 2, 6. Times 6, 36. That's the volume of your rectangular prism. Let's do another one. Last one before I make it a little bit more complicated for you. Let's say that I tell you this is... 2, this is 4, and this is 7. 2 times 4 times 7. 2 times 4, 6. Times 7, 42. That's the volume of your rectangular prism. Now, let's throw some fractions in there. Why fractions? Because they're really easy. You know how to multiply fractions. Let's say I tell you this side is 1 fifth. This is 2 over 7. This is 3 over 10. Oh, so difficult. Did anything change? Do you not have your same formula? 1 over 5 times 2 over 7 times 3 over 10. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 3, 6. Bada, 6. 5 times 7 is going to be 35. 35 times 10, 350. Done. You just found the volume of your rectangular prism. Let's do another one. Let's say here, sorry, my computer's running a bit slow, guys. I'm just going to do one more with fractions, and then we'll call it quits, but it is pretty simple. Let's say that I give you 4 sevenths, 2 eighths, 1 third. Once again, length times width times height. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 4, well that's going to be 8. Okay, 3 times 8, 24. 24 times 7, well, okay, that's going to be 28. This is going to be 14. Add them up, you get 168. Voila. My answer, obviously I'm not having you simplify if you're doing this by hand, but my answer will be 8 over 168. It's not difficult. All you do is you multiply length times width times height. 